Hey guys, this video is going to be an overview of the SAT and basically a breakdown of what to expect on the actual exam. So the exam tests on two main subjects being math and English. And the total points achievable on the SAT is a 1,600, allotting 800 points for math and 800 points for English. There is also an optional essay, which is from two to eight points possible. And this essay is optional because not all colleges require it. Some even just recommend it, but a lot of colleges don't even ask about the essay. So it's good to check which college you plan to apply to and whether or not they require or recommend the essay. Um, for the duration of the SAT, it's three hours long. And this is not including the 15 minute breaks and the total 50 minutes you would get if you would opt for the essay. And the essay comes in two formats. It either can be done on computer or paper. And I personally prefer computer. I feel like it's easier because you don't have to end up bubbling, which you'd have to do for the paper-based exam, which might take some time. But I get a lot of people prefer using paper and pencil. So that could be a good option for you. Depends on how you like to do the exam. So this depends on the test center you plan to take the SAT at. So it's best to call in before you book for the SAT and check whether they have the format you prefer before booking for the SAT. The SAT will start with English and it's two sections, then math and the two sections for math. For English, you will start with the reading section, which is a total of 65 minutes long. And the reading section has five passages and a total of 52 multiple choice questions. The five passages will be on these three topics. So the first passage will be a US and world literature passage with 10 questions. The second topic is history slash social studies, which will have either one or two passages on this topic and 10 to 11 questions. And if the history slash social studies topic didn't get two passages, then science will have two passages and 10 to 11 questions on each one. After the reading section, there will be a 10 minute break before you return to the next section. So the second section of the English part will be the writing and language section, which is 35 minutes long. This section will have four passages and a total of 44 multiple choice questions, meaning each passage will have 11 questions. Um, the grammar questions will come on three types of text, which is arguments, narrative, formative, or explanatory. There also will be some graphs to answer questions from. And after that, you'll be moving on to the next section directly without any breaks. After the writing and language section, we'll start directly with math. And the first math section is the no calculator section, which is 25 minutes long. This section will have 20 questions, meaning you will have one minute and 15 seconds to answer each question. The, then after that, you will have a five minute break before starting the next section. The second math section will be the math calculator section, which is 55 minutes long. This section has 38 questions, meaning you will have one minute and 27 seconds per question. Now that will be the end of the SAT for the students who do not opt for the optional essay. However, you can skip to the next part where we discuss the portion or the syllabus for the lessons to study to prepare for the SAT. However, the students who did opt for the optional essay, they will get a two minute break after the math calculator section. After that, they will begin the optional essay section. This section is 50 minutes long where you will read a passage built by an author and then write a 650 to 750 word response to that passage, where you will then explain how the author built their argument and analyze the points that they made. This part will be scored from a scale of two to eight points. So these are the lessons included in the math section of the SAT. Uh, you can take a quick screenshot to save the names of the lessons. Hopefully on this channel, we'll explain every single lesson and solve a bunch of questions on each lesson. Although for some extra questions and prep, you can head on to Han Academy, honestly my savior while studying for the SAT. I almost like studied solely on this website, but I was hoping for a channel that would help 
you know, beginners or have more questions. So this is why I started this channel. It will hopefully help you guys. But yeah, Khan Academy is a great website as well to practice on these lessons. For the English section of the SAT, honestly, the best way to prepare is by practicing a bunch of questions, which hopefully we'll be doing on this channel. Um, there also is Khan Academy for English prep as well. And yeah, hopefully on this channel, we'll be doing all the prep that you need for the SAT. So please subscribe, like, and comment to catch every video.